Hey everyone, it's Anne and welcome back to Keto Asian Flavors. In this video, I will show you how to easily make pandan extract using fresh pandan leaves, a method that will get the most flavor and color for your recipes. The pandan plant is a tropical plant grown in South and Southeast Asia. The leaves are narrow, spiky, bright green, and normally about two to three feet long. The leaves are used for their flavor in many Southeast Asian dishes and desserts. Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, and Vietnam are among some of the countries that often use pandan for culinary uses in cooking. Known as vanilla of Asia, it also goes by the name of screw pine leaf. It is used in both savory dishes and sweet desserts. I have used pandan leaves to make some of my family's favorites, Hainanese chicken, pandan leaf chicken, coconut jello desserts, custard, and many more. Pandan extract has its own flavor. There is nothing out there to compare it to. The flavor is subtle and it has a very nice sweet aroma to it. I make my own extracts because even though ingredients varies by brand, the store-bought ones are made from artificial flavors and food coloring. It is best to purchase fresh pandan leaves, but sometimes it's hard to find. If fresh leaves are not available at your local Asian supermarket, check the freezer aisle for frozen ones. It normally comes packaged like this, or it might be already pre-cut and frozen in a bag. To make the pandan extract, start by cutting it into smaller pieces. Because the leaves are very fibrous, cutting it down will make it a lot easier to blend in the blender. There are lots of dirt in between the leaves, so carefully wash the leaves until all the dirt is gone. Change the water a few times before transferring the leaves into a strainer or a colander to drain the water out. To a high-speed blender, add in about 15 to 20 pandan leaves with one cup of water and blitz to break it down. Slowly increase the speed to high and blend until smooth. Transfer to a cheesecloth, a soup bag, or a mesh strainer and squeeze out all the juice and discard the pulp. Transfer the juice to a jar and refrigerate undisturbed overnight to allow the green sediment to accumulate to the bottom. The dark green layer is the extract, and the liquid layer on top is just the water. You can discard it, or if your recipe calls for water, you can keep the top layer and use it accordingly. If you decide the color is not as bright or the amount extracted is not enough, you can add pandan powder to it for more flavor or add natural food coloring for more color. Just remember that fresh extracts will not be as concentrated as the artificial extract, but it will taste and smell a lot better. You may keep freshly extracted pandan in the refrigerator for seven days, but it is best to use it right away or within two days. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I will see you again next time.